Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back, back to my channel. My name is Tiffany. I do fiber arts, kind of lifestyle vlogs on this channel. Uh, today, I thought it would be fun in, I know we're very early, but in preparation for Valentine's Day, I thought it would be cute to come up with kind of wish list ideas, things that you can knit for your significant other. Um, and so I'm just gonna be talking about all the things that I want to knit for my boyfriend. And it doesn't matter, I don't care that the sweater curse could be real or not, I'm gonna take the chance because it just feels wrong to like to not take the opportunity to knit something for my boyfriend. Um, if no one knows, the knitting curse is if you knit something for your significant other, that they will break up with you, and that is the curse. But we're not. We're just gonna like. We're gonna like. <laughs> we're gonna. We're gonna just ignore that and pretend that that's not real. So. Um, my boyfriend can have cute items, and that's all that matters. If you guys can tell I'm in a new setup. It's probably not as cute because I haven't really gotten it like fully up and ready and I'm not too sure if this will be the forever background but I've moved into a new room so my bedroom is separate from kind of like this office studio space I guess you could call it. I am now making studio vlogs. Yeah so all my yarn is in here. It's not all in the place where I sleep and so the fibers are not getting into my lungs while I am in slumbering mode. Anyway, and we like it a lot. It's really fun. It's um, It makes it feel like this is kind of getting into like a small business and we're loving it. Some other updates, everything is slow. I'm really slow, I'm so sorry. We said we were gonna do, like we were going to get things done and we're getting things done. Things are being done. It's just a really slow process. Also, I know I'm gonna get a billion questions about the sweater, but I like had to wear it today. Tiffany, stand up. Look at how cute she is. I'm sorry. Also, look, I can do try-ons here and show you guys how it looks like. But unfortunately, I did not make this. Um, this was a gift from my uncle from Peru, and my family just never really wore it because they like I think we all thought it was really odd and ugly, but. Um, for some reason I'm loving it and I feel like I want to wear it all the time. Like it's so funky and fresh. Like someone said these, these were ducks. I think they are. We love it. I think I'm going to be wearing this all the time. Do I recreate this so then you guys can make one too? That would be fun. But also, I honestly don't even know how they did the color changes. I think, I think they did Intarsia. Thank you so much, Ana Luisa, for partnering up with me for this video. Ana Luisa is a jewelry company that kind of focuses and strives for sustainability. Um, they're carbon neutral, you know, water neutral. A lot of the things that they make are either recycled or eco-friendly, and I really support everything they do. Um, they use eco-packaging. I think they have really good quality stuff, and I have been loving everything I've gotten so far. Like, literally, I'd be wearing all their jewelry, the necklaces, you know. Um, I really do love what they strive for, so... Um, I'm just gonna show you some pieces that I got recently. But these are some of the jewelries that I got. I think that they're so dainty, so cute. I think very minimalistic, very just subtle, and it really kind of, I think, I mean, I love jewelry, I love stacking. I think good jewelry can really bring out an outfit, especially your knits. I feel like me with this, this look, it's just perfect. Um, so the first one, I guess, is this guy. Yeah, it's a cubic zirconia in the middle. It is the Paisley. It's gold-plated recycled silver. Uh, I really like their sterling silver because I'm able to kind of get them wet or shower with them. I never really take these off, and I, that's what I love so much about it. The next one I got is the Jones. So it's kind of really hard to tell, but the top portion is kind of thicker. I really like that it's a subtle kind of... Uh, shape compared to just having a kind of band if that makes any sense uh, the next one I got was the Haley which is kind of this open ring that has two cubic zirconiums here and I think it really would look so adorable just like paired up together as well I just feel like they were meant to be together I feel like they stack perfectly um, and then the last one I got was I think it's called Angela's uh, it's like half a band of these like round circles and then it has kind of jewels in the middle and I think it's just so subtle and it's so just like it makes my hands look so cute since I can't really have long nails because 
I just find it really difficult to knit with. Yeah, so they're having their Valentine's Day sale. Um, it's buy one get one 40% off. Now treat yourself, treat your significant other. Like honestly, I love the look of jewelry on men. I honestly should get my boyfriend jewelry. Um, <laughs> like a ring on a boy, marry me. Yeah, definitely go check them out. The link will be in the description below. Um, yeah, let's get on with the video. Number one, I don't know why, I literally don't know why, but I am very into a male slipover. I think it would be the perfect gift. I think it's very easy to knit up, first of all. It's not like a full-on sweater. And I feel like they're so in. They are so in right now. Because like, I've seen a ton of women wearing it. I've seen a lot of guys wearing it. I'll hopefully show some inspo. I was also thinking of making like patterns for these. So like if I actually make one for my boyfriend, like I could like hook you guys up, you know? I've gotten a lot of comments from people saying like, oh, like, do you know any good uh, menswear, like patterns? And I feel like there really isn't. I think, I think a lot of guys just have to like go and pick like a girl pattern and then like size up. And I think it'd be cute to kind of just like make one that's for men, you know? You know, we gotta like appreciate everyone. I guess I could do unisex too, I don't know. We're thinking, we're thinking of things. But we really wanna make a slipover. I think I really wanna get him a navy one. Um, the problem is, is like, I'm not sure if my boyfriend will wear these. <laughs> Cause it's not like necessarily like his style, if that makes sense. Like I'm trying to make it. His style. It has taken me such a long time to get my boyfriend from looking like a skater boy to looking like an actual adult human being. So like, we can push him. <laughs> we can push him a little further, you know what I mean? Hopefully if I make him a slipover, he will have to wear it because it was made with love. Um, and I see him often and I will judge him forever if he doesn't wear it. Also be in mind, I feel like when I'm making guy things or making gifts for other people, um, definitely be aware like not to necessarily give them the nice stuff. And I know, oh, it hurts me too. Um, because like I would love to give my boyfriend like a sweater that's like no hair and wool, but I know he would destroy it in a second if he put it in the wash. Uh, and there's no way I can expect him to make like the time to go and hand wash this beautiful piece. So I'm going to have to look for some yarn that is like either super wash or I don't know, something that you can put in the washer kind of like cold on like low. So probably gonna do that, probably no mohair, but I think like a navy blue like a cream. I've seen, there's no way I'm gonna find this again, but I saw an interview with Steven Ewan, my love and joy from Walking Dead. He was wearing this V-neck like slipover and it looked so good on him. Just like anything with a white t-shirt I think would look perfect with this. And I'm gonna make it for my boyfriend. Hopefully I'll get some pictures of guys wearing them, but it's low key so hard to find like menswear inspiration. This is how I film. Then you can get them. Oh, really? Oh, thank you. Yeah, this, this is the first time you see us. Mm. Yeah. Grandma Bliss making it in for the video, uh, as she does with the streams like all the time. So yeah, that's like the first thing on my list of things to make. Not necessarily gonna make it all before like Valentine's Day to give it to my boyfriend, but uh, maybe throughout the time we are together. That is my goal. Um, okay, next one is up. Socks. I... There's no reason. There's absolutely no reason my boyfriend has a bunch of just high socks that are like sport, like champion. You got Nike, Adidas, you know, all that stuff. But for some reason, I think I just saw in Ravelry there was like a boyfriend sock and I immediately was like, okay, you didn't have to show me that because now I'm gonna make it. So I've been really into socks, like literally not even like a huge dealio, but I finished the sock for myself. Like look at how basic I am. Um, and I'm very happy about it. We did it on, I've been, I'd be telling literally everyone. I have been working on these like little bitty, bitty needles and I've been so impressed with myself. I've been learning it and it's actually kind of, getting better because it used to be really hard for me and now I'm getting used to it and I want to just make socks forever. Why not? Um, if not, maybe I'll just make some more socks for myself because I got some more Weta yarn. Okay, you know what? 
the ramble is over. Okay. I think Arweta is a really good choice if you're looking for socks because it's super washed and you could easily give it to your boyfriend. Um, just something simple like an everyday sock is really nice. Um, but if you want to do something funky like cables, I really want to get into like cable and lace socks. So we have been eyeing too many, honestly. I don't have the yarn for it, but I want to. Okay, next one. I really want to make my boyfriend a sweater, obviously. I think a sweater would be just a really basic one. Again, I'll show you guys the petite knit ones that I've been obsessed with. Um, I just think that they're very simple and basic. I like that there is no mohair with it. You could really just do some sort of like, I think DK or Aran weight yarn, and it would look perfect. It's very simple. It's just perfect. I think something like that, if I can kind of just make a raglan for him, I think would be really, really nice just coming up with a pattern myself. I've been really trying to come up with patterns, but like the time, Tiffany, the time. Maybe in like a cotton or something, just a basic stock and net. I think men's fashion is just very basic and simple. I honestly wish it were that easy for me. Um, but it's not. Like I feel like women are just expected to like wear something different every day. And I feel that. Okay, so this is kind of like an in-between between like a sweater and like a jacket thingy, but I wanna make the zipper sweater men from Petite Knit. Um, I think it's just the perfect piece for a guy to wear. And like my, and I was gonna say my guy. Oh my God, my guy. No, <laughs> um, my boyfriend like wears a lot of like Patagonia and like a lot of like sweaters with a zip in the middle. And I think if I were to really dedicate a piece to him, I think the zipper sweater would be perfect. And then like we could be matching. I could have one and he could have one and we would be so cute together, you know? That one I think is definitely like my number one, but I'll probably make him a slip over first. Next one, controversial. I don't know if it's really controversial, but I think he would think it's controversial. I really want to knit him a cardigan. I don't see a lot of dudes wearing cardigans. And I just think a really, again, basic, like I think, like I love the look of the champagne cardigan, maybe for a guy, but I don't know how to make it more masculine, I guess is my problem that we're feeling. I don't really know exactly how I would construct it, but it is in my mind. I'm gonna be posting inspiration here as well. Um, I think it would just look so adorable. Just so adorable. Another good gift, I think, is a hat obviously. I think hats are really basic, really good go-tos. Um, for your boyfriend or significant other, I think matching hats. Dude, I'm not normally a matchy person. Like me and my boyfriend, we went, we accidentally wore the same shoes. They were white vans, okay? And we went to a shopping mall and we were so self-conscious because we thought everyone was looking at us. And we're like, oh my gosh, like I was looking at us, he thinks we're so weird. But like, I feel like it's a really common thing in like South Korea for people to match. I've just seen so many dramas where like the couple is be matching. And like sometimes, Sometimes I want that. And then sometimes I'm like, it's really gross and like too lovey-dovey. So like, I don't know. I am really playing with knives here. Any basic hat, I think a ribbing is really nice. I tried to make him one before when I was like not very good at knitting. Um, I think I knitted the hat like flat. It wasn't even in the round, it was just flat. And I like sewed it up. Tiffany, how did I do that? Um, so I think he needs an upgrade. And yeah, make him a really nice hat. I think another really good thing, if your boyfriend is like maybe, um, like if you really wanna make something for your significant other, it's really good um, to get them in the process, like kind of asking them like, ooh, like, do you like this pattern? Like, would you want it? Cause I showed him, I showed him the zipper sweater and he was like, hey, I actually like that. So yeah, and like show him like, like what yarn you wanna use or like bring him to a yarn shop and let him like feel the, the yarn. I don't know. I just think it'd be such a cute little date thing to do. And like pick out yarn together and like knit together. My boyfriend knows how to knit. He just refuses to do it. <laughs> Which crushes my soul cause then we could be like knitting together all the time. And then he could help me out and then I wouldn't have to knit so much. Another one I think is a great idea is slippers. So there's this pattern, I think it's by Sunnescarm. Um, it's in Norwegian, however, um, but Inga from Knitting Traditions, she has like 
she does like a verbal translation on it on one of her podcasts so i'm planning on making one of those like i want to make one for myself and like maybe make one for him but it's just kind of like um you knit it up it's such a weird construction but you it's kind of like a u shape it's like a double u shape and then you stick one into the other I can't explain it and then you felt it which I think is really cool and I think it would be a fun like little project to start felting because I've never done it I'm too scared to do it but I really like the slippers they're, they're so cute I've seen some people do like soles for them so then you can wear them out which I feel like is wild but it can be done and I don't know if I'll do it but slippers for sure because my feet get so cold in my house like my family thinks I'm so weird because I don't wear slippers like my feet just like are bare and they judge me oh oh another one oh my goodness i'm just coming up with ideas so many ideas um i think i want to make my boyfriend a scarf i'm honestly just i'm listing out different apparel of for men and just being like okay i'm gonna make this for him um i really want to make him a scarf just like he just doesn't have a good scarf and i could just make him a really good scarf and that's why i want to get a weave a weaving loom I wanna get a weaving loom so I can start making scarves. Cause, cause guys, I know there's been like this craze for like the Acne Studio um, scarf. And I'm pretty sure you just weave with mohair. So I really wanna try that, but like my money and my wallet says no. We will see. I will hopefully keep you guys updated so you can see if I am able to finish any of these pieces, if I'm able to get my boyfriend to even model them excuse me hopefully this video gave you some ideas uh, for some gifts for your boyfriend um, or significant other maybe I can destash some stuff in my um, abundance of yarn um, so <laughs> thank you for staying to the end of the video thank you for watching uh, catch me on Instagram we have a discord I stream like three times a week now which is wild uh, yeah the website will be up soon uh, I will have a link in the description I think I guess um, of like the website that's like kind of half up and you can sign up for a newsletter so I'm planning on making a newsletter maybe sending out stuff kind of every month I'm not going to be super um, strict with kind of the sending out the emails because I know emails can get super annoying um, but I just wanted to do that so you guys can get like updates on kind of where I am with my business <laughs> and like growing the small business kind of um, updates on projects updates on um, like if I'm sending out test forms because um, I know it can be hard to be checking on Instagram all the time I find it kind of hard to make sure that I see everyone's story before it kind of um, disappears um, and yeah kind of updates on like what what shows i'm watching what i'm reading i think it'd be a really fun kind of thing to do and like have it all in one place so if you guys are interested definitely go check it out below and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye